welcome once again now let us see electric field intensity due to dipole on equatorial line on equatorial line Here. Now let us take a dipole. Dipole mean again the pair of equal and opposite charges separated by small distance. See here, I will take a dipole. This is what negative charge. This is what negative charge we can call, and this is what positive charge. So positive charge and negative charge both are separated. Are separated like this. This is A point, and what you can call this is B point. This is what center of light. And this we are calling here, and this we are calling here. Here, what is equatorial line? Equatorial line means the perpendicular line passing from center of light. How it is? If a perpendicular line is passing from center of light. This we are calling equatorial line, right? So, on equatorial line, I need to take a any point here. We need to calculate electric field intensity. See here. This is the point here. We need to calculate electric field intensity. Now, the distance from negative charge to point P that is A P, and distance from positive charge to P. What it is? That is B. Right. From center of dipole, this P point is there. This P point is X is available. I. So distance AP that I will represent by R one, and the distance BP I will represent by R two. Right. See here. From this triangle ABO. How to write R one? R one can be written, or R one square can be written. R one square is equal to what? R one square is equal to L one square plus X square, right? Similarly, R two equal to what? Again, R two equal to what? R two equal to again X square plus L square. Now, students, we need to calculate electric field density due to negative charge and P and electric field density due to positive charge and P. Now let us take. Let us take electric field intensity due to negative charge at P. So do it here. Look at me. E one equal to what? E one equal to Q divided by four pi epsilon. What distance is that? AP is that? That's what I will take AP square. Right? But what is AP square? AP square is equal to R one square. R one square is equal to what? L square plus X square. That's what how to take. E one equal to what? E one equal to I'm constant is there one by four pi epsilon. Shall I take here? One by four pi epsilon. What is k and q divided by what it is? This is what x square plus l square. But it is a negative charge. For negative charge, what is direction of electric field density? For negative charge, the direction of electric field density is acting linearly in y. That's what. The direction of electric field density. This is acting along P. What direction is available? The direction. How to take the direction here? The direction of electric field density in this case. This is acting like this. That is represented by Q. Now similarly, electric field density due to positive charge at P. How to write? Electric field intensity due to positive charge at P can be written E two equal to E two equal to what? Q divided by four pi epsilon naught. What distance? Distance B P square. That's what I will take what value? B P square. Again, what is B P square? B P square is equal to R two square here. R two square is equal to what? Again, L square plus X square. Then how to write? See here. 
it will equal to what? 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught that is constant k q divided by again what it is? dp square dp square is equal to what? again x square plus a square but it is a positive charge for positive charge direction of electric potential is acting radially outward that's what how to take the direction the direction of electric intensity due to positive charge that is acting along the direction dp right in one direction it is acting this is the direction of electric intensity due to positive charge e2 e2 is acting in one direction e2 must be acting in this direction this is e2 look at me what i will call this is equation number one then what I will call this is what equation number two. Even is acting in this direction, it is acting in this direction. Then what is net electric intensity? Net electric intensity must be like this in this direction. What it is? This is a net electric intensity. So this net electric intensity can be written. See here, angle made by E2 with even that is what theta. Angle made by E1 with E again what it is? This also theta. That's what the net electric intensity can be written. Net electric intensity can be written E is equal to what under root of E1 square plus E2 square plus 2 E1 E2. Okay, what angle is there? This also theta, this also theta. That's what I have to write. That I will take a cos of 2 theta. Is e is equal to under root of e1 square plus e2 square plus 2 e1 e2 cos 2 theta. But see, students, look at equation 1 and equation 2. From equation 1 and equation 2, what you can take? Magnitude of e1 must be equal to magnitude of e2. Direction may be the different. e1 is acting like this, e2 is acting like this. But what about magnitude from equation 1 and 2? From equation 1 and 2, you can write magnitude of E1 must equal to magnitude of E2. Then how to call? How to put here? So, E equal to E1 equal to E2. Mean you cannot E1 square plus E1 square. How much it is? 2 E1 square. Again what it is? 2 E1 square of cos 2 theta. Under it. Right? What is common here? 2 E1 square is common. Then how do I write here? E equal to what? 2 even square into bracket what? 1 plus cos of 2 theta. Right? 1 plus cos 2 theta formula is there. That is a 2 cos square theta. What it is? 2 cos square theta. Then see here. What happens here? 2 into what? Even square. 1 plus cos 2 theta. How much it is? 2 cos square theta of what value of under root right let us simplify this 2 into 2 that is 4 under root of 4 that is 2 then how to write 2 into under root of even square that is even square under root of cos square theta how much it is that is cos theta but look at in the diagram in the diagram it can take this as theta or can take this as theta Right. Here two triangles are available. A, P, O looks like one triangle and B, P, O looks like another triangle. From any one triangle, you can take cos theta. What is cos theta from this triangle or from this triangle? Adjusting by hypotenuse. Right. Then, see here. How to simplify this? You can simplify like this. E equal to what? 2 into even cos theta. Cos theta is what? Adjacent by hypotenuse. Actually, adjacent can be represented by what? L. Hypotenuse can be represented by R. What is R? R equal to under root of L square plus X square. How to write that value? That value can be written L square plus X square raised to what? 1 by 2. Under root mean, you can write L square plus X square raised to 1 by 2. But look at equation 1. In equation 1, even is available. What is even? K into Q divided by L square plus X square or X square plus L square. How to put that value from equation 1 then? Look at me. From equation you can solve this equation. What you are taking? E equal to 2. E1 is what? K into Q whole divided by 
how much L square plus x square into cos theta. What is cos theta? The cos theta can be written in what value? L divided by what value? L square plus x square is to 1 by 2. Right? See here. You know, I think definition of electric dipole moment. What it is? The product of magnitude of either charges and distance between two charges. Product of magnitude of either charges and distance between two charges. That is electric dipole moment. How to take time? See here. So, K is the constant. Q into 2 here. That is represented by P whole divided by. Here 1 is there. 1 plus 1 by 2. That is 3 by 2. How to write time? L square plus x square raised to how much? That is 3 by 2. Right? K is the constant again. What is constant? That is 1 by 4 pi epsilon. Then how to write? K into P divided by what? K mean what? 1 by 4 pi epsilon. 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon. Say how to write? P divided by 1 by 4 pi epsilon. Into what distance? L square plus x square is to 3 by 2. Again you can take this L is very very smaller than this. Or again if x is very very greater than L then in the term L square plus x square is to 3 by 2. L term can be neglected. If L is neglected what happens here? E equal to what? E equal to P divided by 4 phi epsilon naught into what distance available? Distance x p is available. What it is? Electric field intensity due to dipole on equatorial line. So, what you can call? This is what? Equation number 3. But question arises here. Two charges are separated by very small distance. So, what is the direction of dipole moment? Direction of dipole moment is from a negative charge to positive charge. From a negative charge to positive charge. But look at me here. What is the net electric intensity? Net electric intensity is acting like this. Shall I show it separately? Look at the students. How it is? This is what? Negative charge. And what about this? This is the positive charge. So this is what? Distance between negative charge to positive charge. A net electric intensity. How it is acting? In this direction. I mean, in what direction can be present? Net electric intensity must be like this. That is E. But what is the dipole moment direction here? Dipole moment direction can be taken from negative charge to positive charge. Here, angle between net electric intensity and electric dipole moment. What angle is available here? This angle is available. That's what angle between electric field intensity and electric dipole moment on equatorial line. What angle is available here? Theta equal to 1 equal to But on XA line, how much it is available? Only 0 degrees available. Directly, electric field intensity and electric dipole moment on XA line, they are parallel to each other. And electric field intensity and electric dipole moment on equatorial line of the dipole, they are antiparallel to each other. This is what electric field intensity due to dipole on equatorial line. So we need to go for one more concept. When a dipole is placed in a uniform electric field, what happens? And when a dipole is placed in non-uniform electric field, then what happens? That is our next concept is torque experienced by dipole in an uniform electric field. That one is clearly. 